everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa and I'm here to help you master your project management, tech and career growth. Today we are diving deep into one of the most practical aspects of project management, tools. So whether you're managing your first project, your first team, or you're looking for ways to better streamline your workflows, using the right tools can make or break your success. In this video, we are going to cover why project management tools are essential. I'm going to give an overview of three popular tools, Jira, Trello, and others like Asana and Notion. And lastly, how to choose the best tools for your project. Now make sure you watch until the end for a bonus tip about integrating tools for maximum productivity. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about why you need project management tools in the first place. It creates centralized communication. These tools reduce the need for endless email chains, which I hate, and meetings, which I really dislike. And also everything such as tasks and deadlines can all be in one place. It helps with better organization. It allows you to keep track of who's doing what and when. With tools like Trello, you can visually organize your tasks and workflows whilst also prioritizing your tasks. I think that it also increases productivity. When your team has clear visibility on tasks, timelines, who's doing what and so on and so forth, it allows for everyone to focus on delivering the results instead of searching for updates. Think of project management tools as the glue that holds your team together. They ensure everyone is on the same page no matter where they are. Now that you know why these tools are important, let's look at the three popular ones and how they can help. Trello is a simple visual tool based on Kanban boards. It's perfect for beginners and smaller teams. Its key features are boards, lists and cards. The boards represent the projects. The list represents the stages. For example, to do, in progress, and done. And the cards represents the tasks or items. You can add customization labels, due dates, checklists, and attachments to the cards. They also integrate with tools such as Google Drive and Slack. So an example of when I would use Trello is if I was planning a product launch. Imagine you can create a board with lists for marketing development and testing. Each list can have cards for individual tasks like write a blog post or test a new feature. Simple as. I would say a pro for using Trello is that it's super easy to use, it's visually intuitive and it's free for basic use. One I would say would be it's quite limited in functionality for complex projects. I would say it's best for beginners, startups and smaller teams. Jira, this is probably the word that you see on every single job application that you are applying for. If Trello is simple, then Jira is its powerful cousin. It's designed for agile teams managing software development projects. Its key features are sprint management. You're able to plan, start and track sprints with ease. You can also create custom workflows where you can define work flows that match your team's processes. And lastly, it provides advanced reporting. You can generate detailed reports like burn down charts, velocity charts, and so much more. For example, if I was using Jira, I would use it for my software development team. Using Scrum can create a backlog of tasks. So with Jira, I would then assign them to each team member and track progress across multiple sprints. A pro for using Jira is that it's super powerful, highly customizable, great for large teams and technical projects. A con would be it's a steeper learning curve, can be quite overwhelming from non-technical users. I would say Jira is best used for agile teams, software developers, and large organizations. Asana is a hybrid between Trello's simplicity and Jira's functionality. It works for teams of all sizes. Its key features are task assignments. You're able to assign tasks to individuals with due dates. It allows multiple views. You can switch between a list view, a calendar view, and boards. You're also able to see the project timeline. This helps you to visualize dependencies and deadlines. You've probably heard of Notion and probably seen so many ads about them, but they are super, super great. Notion is more than a project management tool. It's a workspace for notes, documents and tasks. Its key features are its customizable templates. You're able to create project trackers, wikis and dashboards. It also has great integration. You can combine project management with documentation in one place. What are the pros and cons for both? Asana's pros are it's great for task management and collaboration. Notion's pros are it's highly flexible, integrates note taking for those long meetings and task tracking. I would say both of their cons are both tools lack the depth of Jira for agile projects. I would say Notion and Asana are best for multi-purpose teams, creatives and general project management. So with all that information, how do you choose the right tool for you? Here are three questions to consider. What is the size of your team? If it's a small team, 
Trello or Notion. If it's a large team, Asana or Jira. What's the nature of the project? Creative, flexible projects, I would choose Notion or Trello. If it's a technical or agile project, I would use Jira or Asana. Lastly, what is your budget? If you're looking for something free or low budget, I would use Trello or Notion. If it's something investment worthy, I would choose Jira or Asana. Remember, you don't need a perfect tool, but it is important to choose a tool that is helpful because spreadsheets, that's old news. Choose one that meets your team's current needs and don't hesitate to adapt as it grows. Now here is my bonus tip. It is so, so important, but integration is key. Many of these tools do integrate with each other and it makes life so, so much easier. For example, use Trello for task tracking and integrate it with Slack for team communication. Also combine Notion for documentation with Jira for sprint management. So that's it for today's video. We have explored the most popular our project management tools and how to decide which one's right for you. Now it's your turn. What tools are you currently using? I am obsessed with monday.com. If you do have any useful tools that I haven't mentioned, then drop them down below. Or if there's any other tools that you want me to explore in depth, drop them down below and I'll be sure to comment about it in my next video. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share this if this was useful with one of your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.